Herzlich willkommen zur fünften Ausgabe. Welcome to the fifth edition of the Liebherr Baumer Video Magazine. Nice that you're still with us. Yes, could be that one or two of you have already considered applying for a job at Liebherr. And if so, then the career point here is definitely the place to be at Baumer. That's where Ricardo Dieng's career began three years ago. I'm Ricardo Dieng, and I work here at the Liebherr plant in Eingen as a civil engineer in structural engineering. And I've been here for about two and a half years now. We calculate the components and load tables of the large lattice boom cranes in our group. It was Baumer in 2019 that laid the foundation stone for me starting here about two and a half years ago. I went by the Liebherr careers booth and spoke to a nice colleague from HR here in Eingen. And then things went pretty quickly. After Baumer, it was about another six months or so. And then I was basically employed here. What I find especially exciting about my job is the enormous forces we have to deal with here. The huge loads and the challenge of making sure that the components you've calculated can really carry what they're supposed to. Liebherr is very well known and it's an attractive employer too because the working environment is pretty exciting. At this year's Bauma, we'll be presenting the LA1700, which I've also worked on. On the screen, everything seems a bit smaller, but when you actually stand in front of it, you look up and realize it's a whole lot bigger than you were expecting. That's when you get a feel of the sheer dimensions of what we're calculating here. We have a lot of colleagues who've been working in structural engineering, in crane construction, for a long time. You can learn a lot from them because they already have a huge amount of experience. We all get along really well with each other, I have to say. And there's also time for a bit of fun now and then. We certainly never get bored, that's for sure. We're standing here on the so-called Unplugged Boulevard. That's the street of electric drives. And I'm very happy now to welcome Johannes Romberg. He's the head of product management. Mr. Romberg, why did Liebherr decide on electric drives? Well, our customers often work in urban areas, large cities that are densely built up. And they often face the problem of having to reduce emissions and also noise on their construction sites. Then we have other customers who set themselves the major goal of reducing their CO2 emissions. And with our Unplugged series, we provide a good solution there. Where exactly are these machines operating right now? The machines are actually used worldwide. We've already had one in operation in Munich, actually, at the Arnulf Post Office, a historic post office building that's been renovated and expanded by a technology company. It was important for them to use emission-free machines, and that's where one of our unplugged drilling rigs was used. Thanks very much, Mr. Romberg. And for you, we now have some more highlights. At Palma, we're showing our new LR1700 1.0, the latest crawler crane development from Aing. Here we see the crane with a 78-meter main boom and a 12-meter fixed tip for wind power. This crane has a concept that can be used globally. We have wind power systems for Europe where we can place turbines as high as 165 meters. We also have concepts for the North American market, and we're also working on a narrow track concept, especially for the markets in Spain and South America. The LR1700 features all the latest innovations, of course, alongside an enormously powerful basic machine, which gives us high lifting capacities. It also has a new, wide boom system, the so-called H-Kit, the 3.5-meter wide section after the boom foot. Alternative, a new, wide boom system, the so-called H-Kit, the 3.5-meter wide section after the boom foot. We generate incredible loads on that. The crane has another innovation we're also showing at Balma, and that's the M-Wagon. It's the alternative to a suspended ballast wagon. The M-Wagon is actually used in refinery work, port handling or similar, where the ballast shouldn't be stacked up and down. The advantage is that there are wheels on it. The ballast can always stay on the wagon, so handling for the crane operator is relatively simple. I think the 1188 ECH Fiber is a great option for our customers based on the successes we had 
with our previous 1000 HC cranes. The fiber rope gives it an even more higher advantage. We can establish higher hook heights uh, with a much better load curve for our customers and it gives them much more flexibility on construction sites. We see the cranes a lot on really big infrastructure projects. Um, they're also very popular in ports and I think it's really great that Lee Bear's innovated such a modern product for the future. At LeapHair, customers are involved in developing and planning digital solutions from the very start. How exactly does that function? We've tied our lead customers to us with a lead customer agreement. We started this at a very early stage of the project. They were already involved in defining the digitalization strategy. Then, in defining the main focal points we work on to first, and now, of course, in elaborating the specific individual topics for our dashboard. What's the best way to describe the relationship between Liebherr and its customers? Well, I would say this relationship that we have is a win-win situation. Of course, we design the dashboard according to our customers' wishes, so they can also work well with it in the future. And we naturally have the advantage that we learn from our customers during the actual implementation process. But now we're also learning what's expected of us in the future, so that we can also start development in good time. That's great. And now let's see how it relates to what happens on site. My Leap Air Maintenance and Performance are two special applications for earth moving equipment, material handling equipment and attachments. My Leap Air Maintenance is aimed at the workshop manager and helps him to ensure maximum reliability of his Leap Air equipment. My Leap Air Performance is aimed at the plant manager helping him to operate his Leap Air fleet with maximum efficiency. We want to be close to our customers, understand them, and offer them solutions. So far the process has been that we met up every 14 days via an online meeting, testing in the meantime how the product functioned, what worked and what didn't. Our suggestions were then accepted and implemented, and if anything couldn't be accepted or implemented, wherever possible we were told why or why not. So, the project has developed little by little until it reached its current status. And I do hope that we'll continue to be involved in the project in the future too, because it's actually a lot of fun. We really benefit from the honest and direct feedback. The cooperation is based on a lot of trust, and of course that's essential if we want to be close to the customer and close to the market. Last but not least, the action of the day. It's photo time. Very nice snapshots, aren't they? They're definitely going into my Liebherr Baumer Video Magazine souvenir album. Okay, hope to see you again tomorrow. Bye!